I want to make sure I can take every opportunity I can to come out here and create memories with him because that to me is the most important. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Crandall. This is Marcy. <laughs> what the heck? I wondered if you could use the power faster than it could charge. <laughs> So she's currently editing a, editing a video that you guys have probably already seen on the uh, Marcy and Crandall YouTube channel. There's a link down in the description if you guys haven't seen it or haven't checked it out. Go check it out. Uh, and if you aren't subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel. Today, I'm just going to go around and show you guys kind of a day in the life. Now, it's actually noon, uh, but this morning consisted of a little bit of lawn mowing, feeding babies, changing diapers, and keeping the babies from crying too much. So that pretty much brings us to now which I will go show you guys kind of what we're working on for the rest of the day. Yep. There's no tire on this truck. If you guys have followed the channel for any amount of time, you know, this truck has been well to us, but also been a pain in the butt. Yesterday when I was driving it, the check engine light came on, the AC stopped working, and the brakes started feeling really funny. Well, turns out the brake pads are completely wore out. I caught it just, honestly, just barely in time. There's, I mean, there's nothing left there and there's barely some left there. This side's just barely, so for sure needs new brake pads. I just, uh, it was definitely scary driving down the road and not having brakes really work. Like I could hear them screeching and squealing and making all sorts of noise. I could tell that they were going out. So I took that apart this morning, found out that was the issue. Like I said, the AC also quit. So I was driving yesterday, it was 100 degrees, and the AC quit halfway through my drive, so I had to drive like two hours without AC. Well, unfortunately, I don't think it's as easy as adding Freon because whenever you turn it on, the compressor makes a ton of noise. So I think it ran out of Freon or whatever, and I was still running it, and it would kind of click on and off, and I think it actually blew out the motor. The motor is also 24 years old, so... I'm sure I wasn't the only factor in it dying. But if you guys leave a comment, if maybe that's not actually true and there's a different way of fixing it. But I'm kind of thinking with all the ticking and rattling noise it makes, it might be shot. So today we're taking you guys on the, a day in the life of a wannabe homesteader farmer. I don't even know what to classify us as or our channel as. Uh, so I just figured I'd give you guys a day in the life and show you kind of what a day in the life is like for us. When you live on a farm, homestead, every single day is completely different. One day you're working on truck stuff, the next day you're gardening, the next day you're taking care of animals, and some days you're doing it all. So I also started mowing this front pasture, you can see how tall it is, just to help cut down, make it look a little bit better, but we only have a push mower. So that took me like two hours to do because it's, you know, this tall. No big deal. I'll keep working at it later today when the sun goes down. But Marcy's going to head into town to go get groceries. And I need to have this truck in case me and Maverick want to go do anything. So I'm going to take her car right now and we're going to go get um, the parts that we need for this other truck. We also need to do oil changes on both vehicles. So we're going to be getting that stuff as well. Like I said, this is going to be a little bit different than our other videos. This is just going to be like a daily vlog, a day in the life. So if y'all are interested in watching that, stay tuned. If not, I guess we got a whole list of other videos y'all can go check out. I do just have to say though, I am extremely, extremely grateful and glad that we were able to get this car. And that, I mean, we had to replace the battery, but other than that, we haven't had to do anything to it. Because, I mean, since we got this car, I've only driven the truck twice and it's suddenly just like completely fallen apart. So, you know, we had our big trip up to Oklahoma City or Tulsa actually for the Homestead Expo and we had our trip down to Galveston, and if we had had to drive our truck to either of those, it wouldn't have made it. It would have been stuck like it is on the side of the road. Thankfully, it's stuck here at home, and it would have just been a complete pain in the butt. So I am counting my blessings and extremely, extremely grateful that we have this car now. Um, something that we can fit the whole family in, and it's safe, it's comfortable, like it's, it's just been an unreal blessing. So we're super excited about this. We do need a truck because of everything that I do, you know, construction wise. Um, I've got some projects right now that I have to pull a trailer with. So we do need to have a truck. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do if this truck just decides to stop working, which it's pretty much on the edge of that, I think. It's got the check engine light, we're having engine issues. Uh, the brakes, obviously that's fixable. 
um, the AC, I don't know if I want to spend the money to fix it. Now, it's like 200 degrees now. We're in the middle of summer. Actually, I think we're just at the beginning of summer. It's June. And it's supposed to be like 100 degrees for the next foreseeable future. So, I'm going to run it without AC because I don't want to put the money into it when I don't think the truck is going to last much longer. That being said, it's not going to be comfortable and it's going to be awful. So, I don't know what we're going to do about it. I'm just going to try and milk it as long as we can and just deal with uh, no AC. Roasting, cooking. I'm like, it's going to be like a slow cooker. You're going to be slowly cooking in it. Yo, if the price of stuff just keeps going up, we're going to have to start eating crickets or something. Holy cow. It's ridiculous. Used to go in there, spend, you know, 100 bucks, get everything you need. Man, it was like $200 for everything I needed this time. Woo-wee! It's expensive. All right. Well, enough complaining, I guess. Let's get on with it. And I guess I should tell you what I got. I ended up buying an AC recharge for the other truck. Now, I don't know if it's going to work and fix our problem. Like I said, I think the pump is already shot, which that would mean it doesn't help. But I figured I may as well give it a try because if it does fix it, I would be mad that I didn't spend the $50 to just do it right away so we're gonna maybe waste it maybe we won't we'll see and then i got the oil change kits and the brake pads so we're gonna go put that all on the car see if we can get everything running again before we get into uh fixing the cars <clears throat> let's go take a look at the animals see how they're doing for those of you that are new to the channel welcome um i'm crandall and let's go show you guys our farm animals we're excited we have another animal in the works that's going to help protect our animals, especially from the snakes. Leave a comment down below if you can guess what we might be getting. Uh, looks like the ducks are out. I let them out this morning. I kind of let the ducks during the day run around. They go down to the little pond right here. They're all doing good. We've had some questions about people, or we've had people ask, why don't we put the baby ducks, which they're not tiny anymore. You guys have seen them. In with the chickens and stuff like that i want to and i will especially because she's going to be she is laying eggs and she'll be starting to sit on those eggs probably in the next week or so um but i want to keep them in that pen over there as long as we can because that pen is more secure than this one and where i haven't built another chicken coop duck coop duck house you know what i'm saying over here I don't really want to move them until I can do that. Our chicken coop is pretty much maxed out with the number of birds that it can hold, especially because Zan sleeps in there sometimes. So I want to make sure that we have another house for them here or a place for them to get away from the owl because we've been having an owl come and wipe out our chickens. So that's kind of why where we're at with that and why we're doing it like that. Also, I just saw a chicken out over here. Goose is like, what's going on? I don't know how it got out. Probably flew out like a chicken does. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm going to have to clip its other wings. Hi, Domino. Domino, you're looking pretty pretty. Hi, Zan. This is our goat, Zan. Oh, we do not need to show that. Sorry, guys. Did not know what was going on there. Okay, this is our goat, Zan. And that's our male Muscovy duck, uh, Sean. The chickens all look the same. <laughs> I mean, there's subtle differences, but we haven't named any of them. But Domino. What are you doing? You're looking for a girlfriend, aren't you? Man, y'all, I would love to get another duck. <laughs> Did not. That was not what I was trying to say. I would love to get another turkey. Love to get a couple female turkeys for him to have some girlfriends to run around with. Probably sometime down the road that will happen. Right now, we're just uh, the lonely male farm. Apparently because all the animals we get are male. But, oh, this has actually drained down a little bit. So we had some rain the last week or two. And this had actually filled back up again. I mean, you can see a little bit of water over there. But it's kind of drained back down a little bit. The ducks absolutely love it. And I'm glad we have this for them to where they can come and be ducks. I mean, these little guys are over here.
just uh, eating away. All the seed heads are dropping off of whatever plant this is. I'm not sure what it is. And there's Mama Emerald. She has hatched so many ducklings. She's honestly just been an amazing duck. I love watching them. To me, it, there's like nothing cooler than watching wildlife or farm animals like just being themselves and doing what they do. I think it's really fascinating. Yo, look at this beautiful flower. It's like peach colored. Anybody know what kind of flower this is? The plant looks like an iris, but I don't know. That's a weird looking iris if it is. We should ask Marie. She would be the one to know. Sir, I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm just like walking around. I'm like, oh, this is cool. I'll show you guys this. But I got the uh, oil pan. I wasn't going to change the oil today, but you know, we're in here. We got the tire off. It's easier to access the oil filter. So we may as well all at once. Woo wee. That's a messy job. Oh, you know what? Ford is so nice. And you all want to see where they put their oil filter? Yep, clear back there. So you got to kind of fish your hand in there and untwist it and do all that kind of stuff. And now I know I'm going to get a bunch of comments in the comments section saying, uh, you buy it Ford, you're going to have to work on it. You're going to have to fix it all the time. Well, that may or may not be true, but this one also has 315,000 miles on it. So we've been able to milk it this long. I think we can get another 10,000 miles out of it. Fingers crossed, maybe. Probably not. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. All right, this took way freaking longer than it should have. I could not figure out how to get the brake thing to compress and I almost ruined it. And anyways, I've got it fixed now. So now I've got to unmount this and uh, whoa, get the brake pad put on there. And then we'll be good to go. All right, well, we got that other one done. That one went a lot faster. This is a dirty job, y'all, dirty, dirty job. So I'm gonna top it up with oil. We'll start it, we'll hook up the AC as well and see if we can get that fixed. Like I said, not very hopeful on that. Let's get oil in it. Like father, like son. You got a dirty face like daddy, huh? <laughs> Say, yep. Yeah. Where did mama go? Mm -hmm. What? Jam. Mama went to go get jam? Mm -hmm. At the store? Mm -hmm. I wanna show everybody what you're making? What did you make? A donut? No. <laughs> so mom's gone. It's just boy time, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So we're actually gonna go down to the lake, go try out the boat again. I mean, everything is working on it. I took it out one more time and I didn't show you guys, but everything's working good. We'll go look for arrowheads again. Uh, maybe I'll bring a fishing pole. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll just go have a good time. Go down there, put around for a little bit, I guess. We'll bring y'all along for the ride. You wanna go? Yeah. Oh, go. We got bring Goose? Yeah. All right, Goose, let's go. Goose is so excited, y'all. I've never taken him out to the lake. Now we're gonna use this boat for duck hunting come hunting season, so it's great to get Goose in it, get used to it, because obviously we'll use, Goose will come with me when I go duck hunting in it. Um. And we'll actually be going to the spot. So I guess in preparation for all that, it's going to be good to take him down there, get him used to it. But we got to find Maverick's life jacket. I can find, mine's right here, but I have no idea where his is. So we'll try and track his down and get this all set up. What are you doing? Open. Open? Thank you. Oh, Grace is ready to get in. So the water's up probably... I mean, I don't know how many inches. I would say at least six inches. If you guys remember, last time we came out here, I mean, the boat wouldn't have even been in the water yet. So it's come up a long ways, which is good because it was dang low. But we made it. Let's get this thing unloaded. Get Maverick in the boat. Let's go cruise around. Well, this is the first time Goose has been on a boat. Looks like he knows what to do. <laughs> good boy. Is this fun? A few moments later. Wow, look at all these birds. Okay, stay. Stay.
So the water has come up a ton since the last time we were out here. The last time the beach, so that pile of sticks, that was all beach. So I guess it probably has come up about a foot. There's not much area left to look for arrowheads. There's a little bit of sand in this section here, so we'll walk it. But I'm not seeing any like rocks. Usually I look in like the sand and then there'll be kind of a band of rocks in the sand and I look on that, but not seeing much of that today. So we're just gonna go with uh, what we got. But Goose had a good time. Maverick, did you have a good time? Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool, huh? Oh, watch out for snakes, okay? Yeah. Oh, here was a turtle's nest, you guys. No way. I was like, what the heck are these little egg things? Those are turtles. That is so cool. I wonder if we can find some more that haven't hatched or are hatching. Those are old. That's sweet, though. Someone's having fun. Good boy, dude. Go get it! Go get it! Go get it! Now I need something to throw. No, hold on to that one. Good boy! Good boy! Good. You want more? Chill. Sit. Stay. Stay. No. Stay. Stay. Goose. Well, y'all, with everything we got going on at home, always being busy, always have things to do. For me, I like to just get out in nature, especially with my boy, take Maverick out here. Can't wait till I can take the twins. And uh, it's good to just kind of come out, take a break, reconnect with nature, and spend time with Maverick. I mean, he's not going to remember the stresses and the hard times that we're having right now, but he is going to remember this. And uh, that's important to me. So I want to make sure I can take every opportunity I can to come out here and create memories with him because that, to me, is the most important. Well, we made it home. Oh yeah, let's take off your socks. They're super messy. Did you have fun with Daddy today, buddy? Yeah. Dad had so much fun with you. Are we going to do it again sometime? Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to get you to bed, okay? Yeah. Do you want me to make some mac and cheese? Yeah. Wait, he hasn't ate? Nope. We just got home. It's 8 o'clock. You're really late, love. We're having fun. That doesn't matter. That yeah, is what matters. <laughs> He's been sick. <laughs> That's actually true. Didn't think about that. He has been sick. Well... Marcy went to Sam's Club, did all the grocery shopping. Thanks, Marsh. So, oh, she went to Target, too. So I am going to get dinner made. I'm so glad I got to spend a little bit of time with Maverick. It's fun being able to spend time one-on-one -on -one with him and obviously one-on-one -on -one with the twins as well. I just have to say, sometimes it's good to just take a step back, relax, focus on the most important things in life, which is obviously family. So I'm glad I was able to do that a little bit today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a little bit different than our normal like projects and things we're working on and stuff like that. But I just figured I'd just show you guys a day in the life, show you kind of what it's like on the day-to-day -day basis. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see y'all on the next one.